Calgary is on the front lines of new cutting-edge technology, one of two cities in the world implanting a new state-of-the-art pacemaker. They're smaller, so less restrictive, implanted directly into the heart through the leg. And doctors say come with a shorter recovery period. CTV's Kathy Lee explains. When the heart beats too slow, a pacemaker helps restore its natural rhythm. Yeah. And now, a leading edge device. We have been working on developing a new less invasive pacemaker. The world's first dual chamber wire-free pacemaker is as small as a double-A battery, a tenth of the size of a traditional one. It's also implanted into the heart through a small incision in a vein in the leg, reducing infection. The old version, with wires, also known as leads, goes through the shoulder and underneath the skin in the chest, leaving a scar and a bulge. The risk of a normal pacemaker is quite high in terms of infections, upwards of 2 to 5 percent. For this avid 77-year-old hiker, his traditional pacemaker even caused pain, rubbing against the straps of his backpack. I would do like a 29-kilometer hike and it would be really hurting by the time I get back. John Kiebert is one of the first patients in Canada to have the new device implanted. It's innocuous, has given him more strength on those mountains and recovery time post-surgery faster. It was about two weeks after um, the implant that I went on a hike. As of 2023, more than 200,000 Canadians live with a pacemaker. Kiebert is one of 15 patients at the Foothills Medical Centre to get the new version. And it's in high demand countrywide. The challenge with it is people learning how to put them in safely and effectively and also the cost. They're much more expensive than traditional pacemakers. Currently the new pacemaker is offered to patients who were part of research studies for the device or those who have a higher risk of infection. The Montreal Heart Institute and the Foothills Medical Center are the only two places in Canada offering it. Kathy Lee, CTV News, Calgary.